Uh, thank you. <clears throat> first thing, uh, first thing, I'm very tired. Uh, I can't imagine how these guys feel. Um, secondly, um, you know, this is this is <clears throat> getting to be like a broken record, but um, it's it's what comes to mind, and it's just how proud I am of this team. Uh, they are, um, you know, they are resilient and tough and uh, are just playing the game at an <clears throat> extremely high level right now. And uh, <clears throat> when every once in a while when maybe they, they let down a little bit, they bounce back, and I'm so proud of them. I'm so proud uh, of, uh, of the university we represent. Stony Brook's an awesome place, an awesome place. Um, you know, this doesn't happen without the backing of of a, of a great university, starting with our president, uh, my athletic director, our administration, um, just everyone in Stony Brook. And, uh, you know, I'm sure I can feel it all the way down here that there's so many people pulling for us. And, uh, and I know the guys, um, you know, are really appreciate that and are very much looking forward to tomorrow night. Coach, we'll take questions for the student athletes. Please state your name and affiliation before asking the question. Uh, Walter Via Newsday. Jasvir, for you, uh, I, I was told only a third start for you this season, if you can confirm that. And also talk about uh, your emotions and being able to get the win and come through for your team. Yes, it was my third start. And I mean, right now I just feel, I feel great that our team gets to play tomorrow, we get to play that unnecessary game, move on to the next game. And honestly, I really speechless about my emotions. And, Again, the win today. I'm just glad the team was able to pull up. And also talk about reliever that came in after you, Mason, and did a did a great job for you guys. Yes, Joshua Mason. He he really really shoved today. He um, threw the ball down. Was able to get balls get balls get outs. Just play pitch great. I, I mean, I can't. I'm speechless about how he did as well. Because <laughs> David Ferron college baseball insider. Um, let's talk about your stuff today and, and what made you so effective. I feel like I was just able to throw all three of my pitches for strikes, and I was around the strikes on the whole time. I trust my team, so I try and challenge hitters as much as I can so that they put the ball in play. And the guys behind me, I trust them, so we get the, we get the outs. Kevin, uh, talk about you know your, your role here. You're the last hitter in our lineup, and, and you're coming through with big hits after big hits. What does that say about your lineup when, when they have a guy like you hitting ninth? I mean, it feel, I mean, it feels great being down there to be able to Kind of line up over to Travis at the top of the order, and then have one through six just absolute studs coming up from behind you, and just leading us off to get an inning going. Like the first game today, we put up seven in the seventh, which is huge to get us to this game tonight, and it just feels great. Have you guys that all season? I know you've won 49 games, but you're scoring 10, 12 runs a game out <laughs> against pretty good pitching. Have you been on a run like this and a roll like this? I mean. It'll and right now we're on a big, pretty big girl. I think we're 24 of the last 25. So I mean, we're feeling pretty good about ourselves. Kevin, just talk about the grind of you know, like 27 innings and in, in, in 27 hours now. And, you know, I, I mean, it's been rough so far, especially uh, after the first game today. I took a lot out of us. I mean, we came up here, we hung out a little bit before the second game, and uh, just tried to relax and ice up all our injuries. And uh, we went out today, and the second game, I mean, we were dead tired, and then right at Come early in the game, you don't even start not feeling anything. So then uh, you just go out there and play as hard as you can, and that's what we do tonight. There are no more questions. I'll just miss the student athletes. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Get some rest. Good job, yes. Coach, uh, talk about that if you would. How are you concerned about the kids? You're just talking about how dead tired they are. Uh, Yes, uh, obviously we're you know <clears throat> we're concerned about the fatigue factor. Um, you know, um, Miami as the host, uh, you know they uh, I can't I can't thank them enough for making uh, this level available to us for in between games. Uh, you know I thought it uh, helped us a, a great deal. Um, you know and they uh, you know coming out, coming off of uh, you know that game in the beginning, I think that we were as fresh as you can be. Uh, this you know. Uh, despite the number of innings we're playing and, and the weather conditions we're playing. So, um, you know, you know, we're concerned about that. You know, probably <clears throat> there wasn't really much to say. I, I told them they did most of the talking when we had our huddle at the end of the, 
and, and the biggest part of that conversation was about going back to the hotel and you know every night we we tell them to get rest and I think they have but uh, it's more about just taking care of their bodies and uh, doing what we have to do to be as fresh as possible when we get to the, when we get to the park tomorrow who's gonna pitch tomorrow and also Tyler how how much would he be available tomorrow for an inning or, or so well Tyler absolutely wants to pitch tomorrow and um, and in fact Tyler uh, got up a few times and went down to the bullpen and uh, and got and got loose uh, I have made a decision as to who's going to start the game tomorrow but as we said uh, this morning prior to preparing for the first game it's all hands on deck as you can imagine and uh, and uh, you know, the guys that were called on today did a fantastic job and I know that every one of the other guys uh, would love to you know the opportunity to get the ball tomorrow and and, uh, but I haven't made any uh, decision. I, I feel like I'd really like to sleep on that and wait till tomorrow. Can you talk about Josh Mason getting those last nine outs and getting out of the jam to start in, in the seven? Yeah, Josh, uh, Josh did a fantastic job. Uh, obviously, um, no walks, four strikeouts. Uh, you know, um, Josh uh, had for most of the season uh, had the most appearances for us, and then, and then he ran into a little bit of a bad stretch, and, you know, which. You know, it is just part of the game. It's the ups and downs of the game, and uh, so it's been a while actually since he's been out there. And uh, boy, he uh, he did a tremendous job, and uh, couldn't be happier for Josh and and the performance that uh, that he had tonight. And how key was it the two offensive outbursts first early in the second, fourth inning, and then uh, in the eighth inning getting those three runs back after they had just gone through? Yeah, that was huge to, to answer back. That's that you know that has been uh, a big part of our success this weekend as. You know, you know, not only the coming back and be able to uh, to have a lot of innings where we're putting up crooked numbers, uh, but the answering back. Um, you know, I think that we've done that at a very, very high rate this uh, this weekend, and uh, you know that obviously has led to <clears throat> a big part of our offensive success. Final question, coach. Okay, thank you, coach. Okay, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thanks a lot. Good evening.